Chapter 9, Recession and Relocation, 2006 to 2010. Building upon Miller Legg's environmental and wetlands mitigation banking experience in 2006, the firm became a partner in the establishment of the Blackwater Creek Wetland Mitigation Bank in Lake County, Florida. This nearly 500-acre freshwater wetland property is located within the St. Johns River Water Management District. Working collaboratively with St. Johns and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Middleleg successfully restored herbaceous and forested habitats that provided wetland mitigation credits for development and transportation projects throughout Central Florida. Miller Leg was selected in 2006 by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs to design the Sarasota National Cemetery. Not only was it our second VA National Cemetery project, but it was also the first major project for us on the west coast of Florida. In 2006, Bob Legg led a statewide Send Your Sales Tax to Schools initiative and spearheaded the legislative process to create a state law allowing local school districts to partner with businesses to secure school technology funding. In 2006, Governor Jeb Bush signed a bill into law. As of 2020, millions of dollars from the Send Your Sales Tax to Schools law have benefited public schools throughout the Sunshine State in the areas of the new technology and teacher training. In January 2007, Steve Jobs unveiled the slick new glass iPhone, forever changing the world of communications and connectivity. In November 2007, Miller Leg acquired Widener Surveying and Mapping. The acquisition provided an increased presence in Miami-Dade County and provided a small office in Pensacola. Widener Surveying and Mapping was jointly owned by professional surveyors Maggie and Jim Widener. After the acquisition, Maggie served on the Miller Leg Board of Directors until 2015. Seeing an opportunity to enhance services to our clients, we added subsurface utility engineering, also known as SU, services to our portfolio for the first time in 2007. These services included utility designation and location services using ground penetrating radar and vacuum excavation. In 2007, the Great Recession began. This was the worst economic disaster since the Great Depression of the 1920s. The cause of the recession was primarily financial institutions taking too much risk in lending practices and excessive consumer borrowing and mortgages. The Great Recession led to the stock market crash, losing more than half of its value. The recession lasted 19 months until the recovery began in 2009. This economic condition led to the bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers as well as federal bailouts of General Motors, Chrysler, Citigroup, and Bank of America. U.S. unemployment hit 25%. Not only was the recession's impact felt in the U.S., but globally as GDP for countries throughout the world were impacted by this economic disaster. In 2008, Barack Obama was elected president, becoming the first African American elected to that office. Miller Leg continued to grow its international portfolio of work in both the Caribbean and the Middle East. Our landscape architecture staff planned and designed the St. Barton cruise pier and terminal areas as one of the top rated ports in the Caribbean with up to 14,000 tourists arriving daily on cruise ships, this project provided a mainstay for the island economy. As Dubai continued to grow, Miller Lake provided planning and landscape architecture for Culture Village, a mixed-use luxury waterfront development. Situated along Dubai Creek, Culture Village celebrates Dubai's culture with a maritime museum, a souk, residential communities, retail areas, a waterfront promenade, and a Versace hotel. As the Great Recession began to set in, many of our private development clients began to contact us with instructions to stop all work on their projects. Miller Leg was forced to make many difficult decisions 
regarding staff, compensation, and benefits to ensure the survival of the firm during this difficult time. As a result of this, our staff of 150 was reduced to 60 over the following years. Having a diversity of public and private sector work helped us weather the storm, but all of us definitely felt its impact. After 20 years at the Miller Leg Center in Pembroke Pines, a building which was built by Bob Miller and Bob Legg, the decision was made in 2009 to relocate our corporate headquarters office to Fort Lauderdale. During the one year search for the new office space, we really learned how to be flexible and agile in our work environment. Our Miller Leggers came up with new ways to carpool, share workspaces, and improve IT systems in our Miami and Palm Beach offices to ensure that we all stayed connected between these locations. Having spent 20 years in the same office building, we had accumulated many documents, plans, files, furniture, etc., many of which hadn't been used for years. Paper documents were converted to electronic files or purged, and our office contents consolidated, streamlined, or disposed of. We filled four large dumpsters with old plans, papers, and equipment. The best part was throwing these items from the second floor overhang of the Miller Leg Center into the dumpster below. The Deepwater Horizon oil rig exploded in the Gulf of Mexico and began spewing almost 5 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico in April 2010. The oil well flowed into the Gulf until September when it was finally capped. Oil damage occurred from Louisiana to Tampa Bay. This was the largest offshore drilling disaster in history. In 2010, Miller Leg moved into its new corporate headquarters in Fort Lauderdale, centrally located with easy access to I-95, the Turnpike, and our clients. Our new office location also was near the South Runway Extension Project at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. This ambitious $2 billion project replaced the airport's original 5,300-foot runway with an 8,000-foot long, 150-foot wide runway and taxiway with bridge structures extending over the existing airport perimeter road, the Florida East Coast Railway, and Federal Highway. So much material was required to build the project that a railroad spur was brought to the site to reduce trucking costs. In addition to performing landscape architecture, survey, and Sioux work for this project, Miller Leg led the environmental permitting, tracking of all other site permits, and developed sustainability strategies for the new runway project. Meanwhile, in a live 2010 television broadcast, basketball star LeBron James makes the decision to take his talents to South Beach and join Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch with the Miami Heat creating the Big Three. As the decade closed, we were all ready for the recession's recovery and our road to our 50th anniversary.